part 2 door casing let's start uh, go to create <laughs> select this solid sweep <laughs> sketch path set work plane pick a plane ok pick the interior reference plane select the interior elevation ok select line draw a path ok inside the door ok select a line select this reference plane align the line lock select the reference plane align lock select this reference plane align lock <coughs> finish the path go to reference level ok let's load the door casing profile select the Okay, go to wood casing. Let's select the wood casing 8 profile. Open. <coughs> now, go to profile and select the wood casing 8. Okay, so we have the profile. Flip. Okay, go to horizontal profile offset make it negative 10 millimeter okay so it's uh, between the walls in the door jam finish the profile finish the sweep okay so we have the door casing on the interior side now let's create the door casing for this exterior side pick a plane ok pick the exterior reference plane elevation select interior ok draw a path ok next uh, finish select again let's sketch part select sketch we forgot to align the the, the path select this reference plane align the line lock select the reference plane align lock select this reference plane align lock ok finish the path Let's go to reference level. Okay, select the. Okay, select first the this profile. Okay, go to profile and select the wood casing eight. Okay. Now we need to rotate the profile. Say one eighty degrees. Okay go to horizontal profile offset uh, let's make this negative 10 so our profile is between the wood uh, between the walls and the door jump okay now select the two door jump go to graphics visible pick the button let's create a new parameter <coughs> uh, let's name this door casing one make it instance okay okay next go to material and finishes Pick the button, let's create a new parameter. Uh, 
door casing or DC finish okay okay now go to family types <coughs> door casing finish pick the button go to material library select the AEC materials select the wood and let's select the walnut insert right click rename and let's name this walnut <coughs> door casing okay okay next uh, let's go to 3d let's look at the 3d okay go to family types let's change the wind to 800 millimeter okay good uh, let's change this to well, let's go back to 1000 millimeter okay see the interior elevation let's change the graphic display to realistic okay so we have now the door jump with the door casing okay select the the door casing one <coughs> hide element now let's create the door casing two so we have two options select the solid sweep uh, select set work plane pick a plane select the interior reference plane select the interior elevation ok draw a path ok align select this reference plane align this line lock select this reference plane align lock select this reference plane align lock finish the path <coughs> go to reference level Okay, let's load a profile for door casing 2 let's select the wood casing 4 open okay select the profile and select the wood casing 4 okay let's rotate the profile let's rotate 180 <coughs> Okay, check flip. No, okay, let's try uncheck. Okay, let's go back to zero. Uh, what's that? 180 profile clip. No. <coughs> 90 degrees uh, make it 180 uh, let's uncheck the profile clip let's make the angle to 0 oh, 90 profile clip uncheck check ok angle 0 ok perfect next select or finish the sweep ok we have now the let's edit the sweep we forgot to offset negative 10 ok so 
finish the sweep okay so we have the interior door casing okay let's create the door casing for the exterior side sketch path set work plane pick a plane okay pick the exterior reference plane okay select the interior elevation draw a path inside the door <coughs> okay next select the align align the path select the reference plane select the line lock select this reference plane select the line lock select the reference plane align lock okay finish the path select the wood casing for uh, four uh, angle make it 180 okay uh, horizontal profile offset negative 10 millimeter okay finish okay so we have the door casing too select the door casing go to graphics pick the button let's create a new parameter let's name this door casing 2 make it instance okay okay go to material and finishes and select the door casing finish okay let's see the interior okay uh, reference level let's select the family types let's change some of the parameter let's say 800 okay good let's go back to 1000 okay next uh, let's go to 3d nice go to file open let's open the project the door project open okay now let's go back to the door family uh, save load into project and close Okay, overlay the existing okay now we have the door jump with the door casing select the door you can turn up the door casing one okay select the door you can if you want the door casing one turn up the door casing two okay uh, uncheck the double rabbited check the single riveted door jump okay let's see the 3d let's, let's see the front view okay next go to edit type select the door select the door casing 2 and check the door casing 1 ok and the type let's change the width to 800 apply ok see you on part 3 thank you